Okay guys, so pardon the um, the mess in my office, you're going to have to get used to that. Um, it's not exactly clean at the moment as I imagine you can uh, tell, but this is the video where I made I made Devin Crawford's, um, I made his audio visualizer from two years ago. Okay, so I will warn you now, if you have, if you, have, if you get seizures or anything, you're going to have to click off now. Um... But yeah, we're going to start off with a song that I think was one of the ending songs of Devin's video. It's called Karma by Fruit Salad. It's on Spotify. Or not Spotify, it's on SoundCloud. Um, I'm just going to hit play. Right now we're in a red. Here, let me turn the light off. And we're going to go like... And this thing, honestly, I've been playing with it for about five minutes now. And I'm kind of addicted. I don't know how you guys can hear the music, but... Oh, dude, the green and red. I don't know how, this how well this comes across on camera, but... I've been trying to get this thing built for two years, man. Now all I do, now all I gotta do is clean up my office, make it a little less sensitive because it is really sensitive. As you can see, it is kind of, um, it's just going around constantly. Like it, it almost never turns off, um, except when the music goes really low. So as, as Devin pointed out in his video, the transistors need 0.7 volts on the base to work correctly, and I got around that by using two op amps, uh, which are actually in the schematic. Um, if you follow it, and, um, yeah, other than that, you should really, if you just plug everything in correctly and use the values shown in the schematic, um, and somebody actually made this really helpful thing right here, so if you're like me and you're kind of new to building circuits, you just follow this, and, uh, you should get yourself sorted out pretty quickly, but now I just need to find a way to make it less sensitive, and, uh, maybe make the LEDs update a bit slower, but... You know, this looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion, and uh, I kind of want to just make it like blue and red and maybe incorporate white, because you know, I'm not really a big fan of these other colors, but even with the green right now, the green and the red, that it's just, it's just sick. Honestly, um, I'll update you guys if I do ever end up fixing the sensitivity, but... For now, that is, uh, that's as far as we're getting. So, uh, if this clip does end up getting updated and I do update, um, how often it changes, I will, uh, well, I'll jump back in here, but if not, when we edit this video, um, this is gonna be a really short one, but, uh, yeah, if I don't jump back in, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more. See you guys later. So I'm actually doing this while the song is still playing that you guys were just watching footage from. Um, but I, there is one thing in the code of Devin's that I changed. If I don't change the sensitivity, um, which I haven't done that yet, but yeah, um, there's one thing that I changed in Devin's code, and that one thing is uh, the update LEDs function. So in, in his LED, I believe he updates 8 LEDs at a time. Um, honestly, I like how it looks with 16, so I'm just going to leave it at 16 and uh, call it a day, because 16 is cool. Okay, so I was playing around with the uh, the settings that Devin had set, and um, yeah, it, most of his settings were correct. Um, I actually, in the schematic, there's a capacitor um, between um, between the frequency to voltage converter and the um, and the amplifiers. So it would have gone for me. These are the amplifiers. These are the frequency. This would have gone here. It would have gone here. Um, I actually, I removed it because I found that the voltage was never getting um, high through the capacitor, so it was always at like 0 0.5 volts, and all it took was me removing that, and now we have um, the full amp voltage going to um, the frequency to volt voltage, which is around 3 volts max peak. I found it was like average 2, um, so that's pretty nice. Um, so all I did in the software there is there's actually I might be able to show you. So it's in the convert brightness. It's the second value in the second where it's in the else else if. And uh, 
the start of the song is always sick. Anyway, but yeah, I just changed that to 1.5 because I found that 1 made the sensitivity too low. Um, I don't know if that actually has anything to do with it, but for some reason it seemed to fix the, the problem where I was having where uh, some LEDs would just never turn off, like it would, they would always be on, and um, well, I fixed that. So, now that this video is complete guys, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe for more, I will see you guys in the next one, and uh, now I'm off to clean my office, so uh, I will see you guys in the next video.